Hey guys, so Jane from Legion Gaming. In this video, I have another loadout for my Battlefield 4 loadout series. This is from Harry Melvin, and it's the MW2 Intervention Sniping Loadout. So the, this is the SRR-61, or the Intervention, with Rifle Scope and Straight Pull, the Shorty 12G, or the 1887s as they were in MW2, the M18 Claymore, Radio beacon, hand flare, what she said is attack insert. That's one thing that I disagree with this because I already have the radio beacon. And there were a lot of times, because I played a lot of 64 man rush for this, where a grenade would have been extremely useful. But I decided to run the seal and spec ops as my knife and field upgrade. Now, the SR61 obviously is one of the best snipers in Battlefield 4. It's one of the later unlocks or the last unlock sniper rifle, I believe. The Shorty 12G is just a shotgun pistol for those of you who don't know. And you actually can't use it while you're swimming um, because it's a sidearm that's similar like that. I believe you also can't use the mare's leg while you're swimming. Um, weapons like that that aren't necessarily pistols, just more secondaries, um, you can't use while you're swimming in this game. But the SR-61, I believe, is a one-shot kill out to 12 meters with a pretty good rate of fire of like 38 rounds per minute or something like that, maybe a bit higher than that. But I just absolutely loved this sniper rifle and this loadout in general. I mean, the SRR and Sh Shorty went in on this loadout, and the last clip I have for you is just absolutely insane. We get some 360 turn-ons MW2 style with this, and I know some of you might make complaints saying, what are you doing quick scoping in Battlefield? But this is an MW2 intervention loadout, and if I can quick scope headshot people in this game from decent distances, I might as well do it because... It's obviously the fastest way at taking people out. I love when people comment saying, why are you quick scoping? Why not just scope in and shoot them? Well, if someone's shooting at me, I might as well quick scope if it's the closest and fastest way to take them out. Now, also, I was playing a bit aggressive here. I'm not sure which clips you're necessarily seeing at this time, but there were some clips where I went really aggressive, ag objective play, which I really like to do, especially when I'm quick scoping. I mean, I'd, I like to sit back and snipe sometimes, but only when it's necessary, mainly when I'm playing defense on either rush or defending an objective on conquest. But uh, when I'm pushing an objective, I don't like to support my teammates. I like to be right up there and aggressive, taking out enemies with either my shorty or SR-61. Now, normally my go-to sidearms are either the 93R or the Deagle. And if you guys are wondering if you want me to critique a loadout at the end of the video and show you some clips with how I personally would set up this video. I mean, the Deagle was actually in MW2, so I could have used that in this loadout as a critique, also with the hand flare. So if you'd like to see that from future loadouts, don't forget to tell me down below in the comments. And also, while you're here or there, don't forget to leave your loadouts down below in the comments. Uh, for Battlefield 4, I just, I know I said in my last video I was going to do loadouts on Fridays and Tuesdays. But there isn't really much else to post, and there's a ton of loadouts to get through. So, I might be doing these quite frequently. And if you want other kinds of videos, though, don't forget to tell me those as well down below in the comments. Because I'm always open to suggestions. And you guys are the ones who said you wanted more loadout videos, so that's why I'm doing them. But if you want other kinds of videos, don't forget to leave those down below in the comments as well. I'm just going to show you this clip that I hit on Parasol Storm, not Parasol Storm, Heinen Resort. Sorry, I got the maps mixed up there. Right at the end of a game, and I actually did really well in this game with objective play. My KD kind of went down in the drain towards the end because of the 64 man rush craziness, and I was playing hardcore objective. So when that happens, your KD does tend to drop. But yeah, I did pretty well that game. I'm actually just going to leave you guys with like two more minutes of gameplay. I just had so much fun with this loader that I got a ton of gameplay. And I feel weird not sharing it with you guys. But if you are new here, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you are new here. But sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time.